Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your reading. This is going to be for August 2023. It is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your current energy, the near future, what you don't see coming, and then what spirit wants you to focus on this month. And then we'll take a look at what's going on with you and your person or whoever's on your mind. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. If you are new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you will consider subscribing, hitting that like button. And if you would like a personal reading, that information's in the description box below or the about section of my channel. All right, so let's see what's going on with you guys for August. All right, the overall energy, we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. A couple of messages popping through with that overall energy. It feels like something's not going to be moving as quickly. If there was some kind of information you were hoping to get or some kind of a message, I feel like there's a little bit of a delay there. It just feels like things might be slowing down a tad bit. Let's see where your current energy is. We have the Queen of Pentacles with the Emperor. And then we have the Four of Wands. Okay. Good energy. No doubt. So with the Queen of Pentacles moving into the Emperor, there's a balance between masculine and feminine energy. When you take the time to focus on the things that truly matter to you, especially when it comes to your finances, I feel like that's what empowers you. It helps create a feeling around safety in the home, comfort in the home. Things seem like they're going to be either speeding up in that area of your life and maybe sort of like the monkey brain, if you've been having that, where it's been out of control and you have been overthinking things, I think that's going to slow down a bit and you're going to be more focused. Work may be a priority this month, but it really does put you on top of your game. For some of you, this could be that you're paying attention to what you're doing because you're either going to be purchasing a home or something around your home is going to shift and change. Um, there could be also, someone that's really good with giving you advice about how to do that. I know real estate's changing quite a bit right now, so a lot of people aren't really interested in, in doing that, especially buyers with the interest rates so high. But uh, it's important to start setting yourself up. So if you feel like you need to get advice about something to do with your home environment, your home situation, I would do that for sure. This is definitely a month to get things together and decide what you want to do as far as investing in that. Some of you also may buy an investment property or have an opportunity with someone who brings you uh, this particular opportunity. That's a side note, not for everybody necessarily, but it's something that would put you in control of things. I do think you're going to be on top of your game at work this month. So in the near future, we have the Five of Swords. A lot less internal battle which is great. Justice in reverse and then the Ace of Pentacles. So funny enough, where things may have felt out of balance or maybe there was some internal battles that you were having. Remember I said that if you were having monkey brain, the sword's energy is much about our mental space, what we're thinking, how we're uh, processing things. And if things had felt out of balance, I feel like what Spirit's trying to tell you with this Ace of Pentacles is that you're going to have an opportunity to slow down and be more focused. Like I said, work is going to be a priority. Something new could be coming in. It's kind of like a gift from God. So support, help, you could be finding, I just heard grants or loans if you need or want to go back to school. For some of you, this is having a down payment for a home that could be given to you out of the blue. So it could be some kind of, I'm hearing this, so I'm just going to say it. I hate to say it because it's related to losing someone. But some of you, it could be a situation where you end up inheriting some money and it helps you buy a home. But I will say that the overthinking process, anything that has been going on in that area of your life where you feel kind of out of control of your thoughts is going to be relaxed. And you have an opportunity to just kind of get into the flow this month. All right, so what you don't see coming is the Seven of Wands with the Two of Swords. I, I really like this, I'll be honest. Sometimes we have to focus more on ourselves individually. With the Three of Pentacles in reverse, it may just be easier for you to focus on giving your ideas 
implement your ideas with your work situation. Focus more on what you need to do and look less for any kind of accolades. Just do your best to focus on what's important to you and put your energy there. Now, the seven of wands can be a little bit of a defensive energy, but it doesn't always mean it's a negative. It can be that in the past, you felt like a lot of people were coming at you and you just didn't want to deal with it. You're not up for the battle. You're too focused, which is good because here that means you're defending your position within something. So if you're defending your position at work, it's not going to be hard for you. It's going to be very clear what you need to do. And that's what I think you don't that. Well, that's what you don't see coming. That's the road that it's in. So what spirit wants you to focus on is the five of wands. So sit back and pay attention to the things that do come into your experience because you're learning something. They're actually training. It looks like a little bit of drama, but I think what you're trying to do is remove the drama from your life and be able to put up proper boundaries and say, look, enough with people coming at me. I'm setting my energy here. I'm not going to let people spin me out of control. I want to get focused. I've learned enough. I don't want the drama involved with other people's stuff that's happening. I'd like to focus on myself, my happiness, my joy, the things that make me feel good. It could be a month where you want to spend some time, more time with family as well, a father figure, or just people that you really love that are close to you and your family. Five of Wands with the Magician in Reverse. See, you've learned You've already learned how to manifest. This is becoming something that you don't have to necessarily put your attention on. You don't have to think about it as much as you did maybe in the past. Maybe a lot of your focus was there and it was one of those reoccurring thoughts. Now I feel like what you're doing is you've learned the skill. You understand that you can put something into motion, you know, connecting with the universe, doing your work and allowing it to come in. And then we have the Ace of Cups. So this is a new emotional experience, whether that be around partnership or being open to and knowing that, hey, uh, maybe for some of you, you finally manifested the, the love of your life and you're really excited about this. You're fulfilled within. There's something about getting out of your head and being fulfilled emotionally. So this is internal. This has nothing to do with the partner or the person external to you. It's really just truly being at peace within yourself. And then we have, uh, with your challenge, the five of cups. So even though I feel like you're really working through this mental energy, it could be a little bit of a challenge to let go of some emotions that have been attached to things from your past emotional experiences, but you're overcoming it and they want you to continue to focus on filling up your cup. Because the more we love and focus on ourselves, the less we focus on the things that have created emotional disappointment or sadness. So there may still be a little bit of a challenge working through that, but I think you're doing a good job this month of getting beyond some of it. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify the Knight of Swords in reverse. I keep hearing, don't wait, don't wait. So whatever you may be expecting as a message, don't wait for it this month. Keep your head down, focus on yourself and all the things that I feel like Spirit's saying, hey, this is a great opportunity for you to really enjoy what makes you happy and allow these things to just kind of come into your experience. If it's something that's meant for you, it is definitely going to show up no matter what in the month of August. Okay, so we have the Queen of Pentacles with the Knight of Swords. That's you focused on what brings you the most stability, right? The Queen of Pentacles to confirm the Queen of Pentacles. It's like this is where your energy is supposed to be this month. And then we have the Page of Wands. You've definitely learned something new. You have a either a bright new idea. Um, something has really, it's like an epiphany moment. You know now the steps that you need to take. Like I said, you're going to defend your position, you're not interested in, in fighting with anybody. You don't want to go through focusing on in, any internal battles or sadness. So it just feels like a, a fresh new way of looking at your circumstances and how you want to focus your energy, which is great. Now, 
with the Page of Wands, we have the Ten of Swords because you realize that you're done. Maybe you're done waiting to see if other people are going to show up and you realize that the work that needs to be done is within. And if you've been betrayed in the past, focusing on that and the sadness that that can bring has just caused you, like I said, to get out of control in your head. And I feel like you're probably going to be working through a lot of that energy throughout the month. So the Queen of Pentacles with the Emperor, we have the Magician, the ability to manifest the things that you desire. Like I said, here, focusing on releasing things that you've already learned how to do and how to manifest, and then also being in control of those manifestations, meaning you relax into the energy and you're not as worried. That's what it feels like. I'm not as worried about things coming to fruition. I'm just going to allow them to happen. When you master that in, in yourself, that's a great accomplishment. It definitely brings much more joy and happiness and more of a present energy. And I think that's what you're going to have for the month. The Emperor with the Four of Wands, we have the Two of Swords. It hasn't always been easy. At times, you may have battled this and not been able to see clearly how this actually works. And I think now, again, if you take that blindfold off, you realize I can release it. I can go one way or I can go the other. Either I can relax into the energy and trust that if I just stay focused, then I have control of that. It's really taking back control of your, your thoughts. The Five of Swords with Justice of Both in Reverse, the Two of Wands. This opens up this new, bright tunnel of like almost excitement, which is amazing. It's like you see a new way of doing things and there feels like there's finally a light at the end of the tunnel overcoming something that was imbalanced and finding balance within. So the justice in reverse with the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Five of Cups again, because you realize when you focus on the things that have hurt you and we haven't worked on or released any of the trauma, it can be difficult to see the other side of things. Clearly that's your challenge and you've now got it again. So you're having this opportunity to overcome those things that have been weighing you down emotionally. So the seven of wands with the two of swords in reverse, we have the four of cups. So here, when you put up your proper boundaries, I can see where you open up more to really fulfilling emotional experiences, the same as the ace of cups in some way. But it's like, this is a gift from God to help balance you out emotionally. And I think you're finally seeing it because his eyes are right on the cup, not in the other deck, they aren't. And the other deck, it's like he doesn't want to look at it. And this one, he's looking directly at it. And he has his other three cups here. So he's sitting here reading, absorbing, and saying, okay, I like this. I want this new emotional experience. There's these areas of my life feel full. I want to complete myself in that feeling of emotional stability. And Spirit's bringing it to you and saying, here, you have a choice. You can find a way to balance this out. And setting proper boundaries and defending yourself is definitely one of the ways that we do that. So if a lot of energies are coming at you, I think you'll have a way of figuring out which ones are the best ones and which ones are the ones you just don't want to deal with. Underneath the Two of Swords, we have um, that and the Three of Pentacles, both in reverse, Five of Pentacles. You could find yourself wanting to abandon old not just ideas around how you work with others, but needing someone else's either pat on the back or looking for the recognition. We all do that. We want to be recognized for the things that we do and the work that we do and how much energy we put into things. But I think you're letting go of that, that need to do so. That could be a part of what you're releasing mentally. Because when we feel really complete and happy within ourselves, we don't need external validation. So what Spirit wants you to focus on with the Five of Wands and the Magician in Reverse, Ten of Pentacles. Something that you manifested is coming. Remember I said there's a possibility that you could be getting a lump sum of money, help to buy a home. Something's going to come about that's going to really make you happy. This is also possibly a raise and you've worked really, really hard for it and you get the amount that you wanted or there's an increase and finance is because you've made choices that are much more stable. Let's say you want to invest in something and you know that 
putting it one place is going to be more beneficial than another. So that's going to create, I just heard generational wealth. So you're finding ways to multiply your money in the month of August. The magician in reverse with the ace of cups is definitely going to be something that's going to bring a lot of happiness. The tower is in reverse because whatever had to fall apart and break away has done so, which is opening up a new pathway for you to increase your wealth, to learn new ways of increasing it and making really good decisions financially. So with your challenge being the five of cups, we have the hermit in reverse. So sometimes it can be hard to go within and realize that we are the ones holding on to the emotions, those difficult things that we've been through and how important it is to take the time for ourselves to do so and take responsibility for those feelings that we have and do our best to heal them. That's all you can do is do your best. All right, my loves, I'm going to get into you and your person or whoever's on your mind. So take a minute to think about them. If you are leaving, please do hit that like button on the way out if you're not sticking around for love. I so appreciate that. And we'll get into it. See what's going on. All right, so for Gemini, for... Ooh. Those flipped out. Let's get those back in. I'm doing a little shuffling. This is for Gemini and their person. Let me do one more cut. And there we go. Okay. So your person's energy is the Eight of Swords in reverse. Nice. Star in reverse. The Moon. And the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. So your person's energy feels... Like they've gotten beyond something. I'll be honest. They may not speak about this too much to you. And it may seem as though they haven't worked through their their own stuff. Are they hiding some things from you? Maybe. Are they stuck in the past? It doesn't feel like it. Have they done their healing work? It, it does. It does feel like it. There may be some things that still seem a little bit mysterious about your partner depending on how long you've been with them. You could be dealing with a Pisces. We have Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and Aquarius, Libra, Gemini for the swords. All right, so let's look at your energy. We have the Nine of Swords, Three of Cups. Okay, great. It seems like you're kind of getting out of your own way here. I don't know why they wanted to say that. But it feels like you're not as stressed out. You don't feel like you have to work as hard as maybe you did in the past. Looks like things are going to be fairly easy and enjoyable. Some celebrations possibly. Um, you could be dealing with a Leo and there could be like a celebration for their birthday. The tower in reverse. Whatever had to get shaken up feels like it's settled down for you. Whatever kind of craziness may have been there. I feel like you are... Definitely in a place where you feel better, you're not as stressed out, and just want to have a really good time this month. So it feels pretty good. Whoever your person is, it, most likely you're going to be connected to this person already. So I don't see that things are bad in any way. You could feel still like your person is a little mysterious. That's the biggest message I'm getting. All right, let's look at... Romance Angels. All right. So it says very soon, cl clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. If for some reason you are questioning anything that's happening because you feel like there's some mystery there, it's a decision that you have to make. It's very important that you do love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive always. And we were talking about how you're going to be focused more on you and feeling more fulfilled. So the more you do that, the more it does attract the energy of a partner to you. And then we have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. You may want to do some of that. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So if you're not with this person, you could be wanting to pull them back in. You just want to have a really good time. Maybe again, there's some questions about where they are. Uh, but for most of you, this feels like this is already somebody you're connected to. And I feel like you may be questioning, is this my soulmate? Is it not? Because I want to make sure that if this is the right person for me, that I continue to work on creating that pull so that we come together. All right, let's see 
with the lover's oracle whoop. All right, for some reason, they really want this card. Forgiveness, stop focusing your energy on past events. What we talked about. For life is too precious to waste your create, to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Everything that we are talking about in the main reading. And then time, you are trying too hard. Give it some time, okay? Give it time and just try to have a good time this month. Surrender, at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So you're doing a lot of that releasing this month of emotions connected to something. Freedom, there is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. All right, let's get a couple of cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle. This is for Gemini, please. Okay, so we have not for you. So this month, I think you're realizing what things are for you and what things aren't, which is great especially when you're setting proper boundaries. They keep showing me the seven of wands. So the things that aren't, you're releasing. Sixes could be important. Well, June happens to be a Gemini month. So focus on the sixth and the sixes for the month. And you could be born on that date as well. But you know what's not for you. A message in a bottle. There's another six. So something unexpected could come in that we were talking about. This is typically... Definitely when it's a message in a bottle, it's not something we're expecting. Now, you could be born on the 15th, the 1st, the 5th, or the 6th. Again, here's another 6. Boy, 6s are big. And don't be afraid of 666. It's not what it has always been made out to be. It's actually a great number. Look up the angel number. So you could be 42, born on the 4th, the 2nd, or again, the 6th of the month. This is a lot about putting your energy out there. I feel like it's getting back in touch with nature. So if you haven't had time to go out and ground yourself, try to do that this month. And then chaos and conflict, another six. So sixes are definitely going to be significant. You could be 33, born on the third, or again, the sixth. I think chaos and conflict is what you're putting behind you. You've had to put some work into doing so, and especially if you've been and you're head a lot about things, and you're wanting to release any of that energy. I just feel like it's going to be a lot lighter of a month for you. All right, those were your messages. Thank you so, so much for being here. Again, if you'd like a personal reading, the information is in the description box below, or the about section of my channel. I hope you guys have an amazing month. Sending you tons of love, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.